I'm here again. I'm here again with Jane Healy. He's out there smashing the Wins 55 World uh, 800 meter record here at, at Lone, running with the M35 guys. Shane, that was a fantastic performance again. The week yeah. after a, 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 your previous world record. Do you know what, someone, Michael? Before I go into the interview, I just want to dedicate this record to a very good personal friend. He's my teammate in the 1996 Olympic Games, David Matthews' father, Mr. Matthews. He passed away over the Christmas. Yeah, I saw that, And yeah. I can understand totally how David is, what David is going through. Because my daddy passed away nine years ago at Christmas. So look, David, I hope the angels in heaven are taking good care of your daddy, okay? And he's always with you in spirit. Uh, as for the 800, Michael, I just got out. I said, I'm going to run even splits and then start picking people off. I knew to get out a little bit hard. And that's what I did. And I was surprised I had a lot left at the finish. Yeah, you held back in about fifth place on my commentary until midway through the race. But then you really powered through into second place. Yeah, it just, it just happened. I didn't even think. I said, OK. I felt the people I was coming up on, they were starting to die. I said, OK, go past them hard so they won't react and fight me off. So I made it quick and, and attacked it. Uh, well, yeah, the crowd have been great here. Fair play to the Masters for putting on such a great event each year. Uh, yeah, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful uh, auditorium here too, yeah, AIT. Beautiful city, but Shane, looking at your strength, like we knew, we knew you had over 3,000 metres, but you had enormous strength over that last two laps when you really put a power on. And to run a, run 201 is, is a phenomenal time. I think it might be rounded off to 202, Mike. Okay. Round 202 mark, I think it is. Yeah, look, it's my first 800, actually, in years. Um, That's incredible. Yeah, and so I'll bounce on. My, using my first indoor race are a bit of a pig for me. It's just to, to adapt in the, the dry air and everything. Like, I felt a lot better today in the 800 than I did in the 3K last week in the world record in Scottish and all. You actually look stronger today. Yeah, I look really strong. So that gives me hope now to go on, crack on now, and smash that mile record. Because I'm hoping to run around 4:20 for the mile, 4:22 yeah, on, on the 7th of February. Where is that? Where are you going to look at uh, that? The NAIA live. You know, next NAIA live, yeah. yeah. And then I'll crack on for the 1500 at the national senior championships in the 1500 and try push on and make the final like I did four years ago over 50. Okay, so you have a really busy in indoor season, but you have a two fantastic races, and I've no doubt uh, to head to Abbas Town for the NAIA live and with the support that's there, I'd expect you to break that record as well. Yeah, definitely. I look. I, I love just chasing the clock and going for the world records. I don't care about anything else. I just love being the fastest ever over that distance that I choose to run. Mm. And that's just me in a nutshell. Well, it, it's a privilege watching you run, Shane. It's great to see you. In, you're in fantastic condition. And you're an inspiration to so many athletes. All, all us masters in, in Irish Master Athletics. You're a true inspiration to, to us and, and so many others. And I'm sure other masters around the world to see what you're achieving. Oh, look... I I, I do, I, I love Masters Athletics and like I said last week, I want to set the boundaries out there beyond the biological issue of the body, just push it up beyond those realms and set those markers for future generations to come along. Also, I'd like to say, look, thanks so much to Phelan Kelly of Dublin Track Club. He's doing wonderful movements there with the athletes at DTC. Wonderful and, group, wonderful training, yeah. Yeah, wonder, and wonderful movements, like from mm. people going with big PBs. Yeah. They're moving on in the, in, in the, on their CV. Yeah. Uh, also, I'd like to say a big thank you to my teammates, and then also a big thank you to behind the scenes woman, my wife, Big Jenny. Good. But well, you're training with well, you're training with a lot of elite athletes, uh, Andrew Coskran, who was in the World Championships and the Olympics, and Brian Fay and all those guys. So you're in, in with great guys, and I'm sure you're inspiring them for what you've done in the past as well. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, well, look, my, Andrew, he's my hero. Have to admit, and so is Brian Fay. They've really set the standard. A fair play to them because they really work out hard. And it couldn't happen to any, a better clan of runners. Yeah. But I think Phelan has done a fantastic job over the last number of years. It was a niche that was badly needed in Irish athletics, and Phelan found it, brought those guys together, and he's done massive, massive uh, stuff with them, bringing them to, to world and European level. And he's done the same for yourself as well. So. Oh, yeah. Well, look, I look at it. If you're in a group, you're not doing your job and you can't touch a teammate. You're only strong as your weakest link. You have to be a part of that nucleus. Mm. And I leave it there, Michael. Thanks, thanks, Shane. Good luck on your next attempt. I'm sure there'll be a few more world records to come. Absolutely. And thanks again.